I have been using AMPPS as my web development stack until it broke down recently and I couldn't fix it. I tried everything, or well, probably not everything, otherwise I would fix it, but I, I decided rather to go and, and research what else is available in the market of free WAMP stacks. And I came across this uh, really, really interesting one. It's called uh, openserver.ru, so it's Russian. And um, I had a bit of troubles because I can't speak Russian. And um, this Google translated it for me, but normally this is in Russian. So you go to the third button, put this number in, and then download it. Um, and this this stack actually doesn't install itself to the, to the registries. It just unpacks itself to to the folder. Which is, which is good. It's very it's transferable to to other to other computers very easily. So here it is. I I I, op I created a um, folder in under C called Open Server. You can call it anything you want, and and this is the file I actually downloaded from from the website. You double click it, and it unpacks itself right in the uh, right in the same directory. And uh, this is how it looks like. It looks pretty standard. It's already running, so it has a green flag. And um, um, it has standard features like PHP My Admin, SQL, uh, SQL Manager, which is Heidi. Um, here you have configuration of, of all, your, uh, all your modules in, in, uh, in the stack. But uh, very interesting is uh, actually the settings. <clears throat> be careful when you install this open server; it will be all in Russian. And then you need, need to come here to this, click on this flag, go find this icon, icon with the uh, cog wheel, and then go to the main. And here in the bottom left corner, you will see languages. It's all a bit of Russian; you want to be able to understand. But here you will f find English. And, and you can you can start working with it, so, so it's all nice in English, nicely localized. And some interesting things about this stack, for example, here in modules, you can see different servers. For example, you have nginx, which is which is really fast uh, server, and you have two types of Apache, three different uh, versions of PHP. Two different versions of MySQL and Postgre PostgreSQL. So I, I really, I really like the additional options. You have another interesting feature would be a scheduler, which is something like a cron right on your local machine. And um, and this mail is pretty interesting. So actually, when you have emails, if you develop an application which sends out emails, you can actually dump them into into a File rather than sending to them to the real server, and you would have to check every time uh, your email client if you receive the if you receive the messages. So I think that's quite a neat feature. And um, okay, so that's it. And all your files would be uh, all your web pages would be under domains, local host, and here, here they are all are. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the local host. Click here. Local host. And, and see, this is the page. This is the main page. I already put some of my projects in, in it. And you get a local host, HTTP, HTTPS, local host, and some, some services. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.